being the, the, the first supplier and the, the sole supplier for this event was, a, was an interesting uh, experience and definitely an important milestone for us. We've been a, a partner for, uh, with IFSC for, for, for many years and this was the first Olympic uh, standard competition, the Youth Olympic Games in, uh, in uh, Argentina. You try to work on the, on the whole project, so obviously the, the design is, uh, is part of it, but most importantly is to define with uh, the, the route setters and uh, with the competition department of uh, IFSC uh, what level we were looking for. This uh, world was designed for the, for the youth athletes and, uh, who qualified for this, uh, these games, so we, you need to find the, the, the good compromise, it has to be hard enough, uh, it has to give a, a lot of flexibility and, and possibilities to the, the route setters. So you, you work back and forth uh, on the design phase with uh, everyone involved uh, to create something uh, appropriate in terms of uh, difficulty level. It's a, it's a one-year process uh, from, the, from the time you want to, to you start designing and thinking about uh, and discussing about the, the wall. Uh, and then you include production, you include the logistics, which is uh, never easy when it's far away, uh, plus installations on, installation on site. Maybe I would say 30, 35 people have been uh, involved. The biggest challenge was to plan everything. So once you once you ship it, you must have everything. Uh, considering that it was the first time we were setting up a, a ward in uh, in Argentina, uh, so we didn't have a, a local partner who could help us. So basically, what you what you ship in the container is uh, is everything you need. You you will find locally some uh, uh, some equipment, but uh, you have to be uh, on your own, and you have to plan for that. So planning logistics was definitely. Uh, the biggest challenge. When you start working with those large events, Olympic Games or Youth Olympic Games, uh, of course, many different people will be will be uh, will be involved on the branding side, on the TV side, uh, media athletes, of course, and uh, so you can feel the the small pressure. But at, at the end, it's it's uh, the competition itself is uh, is similar to to a World Cup, so we've been used to that, and there was no bad surprises. Those walls that we we built for for inter international competitions, they are difficult walls. I mean, the, the, some of the best athletes will, will compete on them, um, so you play with the angles, you play with uh, um, you you offer different possibilities to the the route setters. At the end of the day, they will athletes will climb on the wall and on some holes on the, and on the route so uh, you need to you need to work uh, with uh, with all those people to make sure that you you design something that is uh, challenging for the for the competition if it's too easy that wouldn't be uh, very interesting so when you work on a, on the climbing gym obviously the your uh, your attendance is completely different you you may have some beginners you may have some uh, uh, really good athletes, so so your walls and your design must be uh, uh, adapted to this uh, different population, and and usually one one side of the gym and the other sides are, are completely different in uh, in levels angles, so uh, it's it's quite a different uh, design at the end. Well, it's a great great feeling because uh, and this event had a had a great uh, TV coverage, so I remember uh, everyone in the in the office late afternoon was. Uh, was in front of the TV and watching the, the different competitions. So that was a, a good excitement for the for the team here in France. And uh, yeah, everyone was proud to see the, that this first Olympic competition was uh, on an EP wall, uh, live on TV, and, uh, and, and a good, uh, very good level in terms of competition. So everyone was uh, happy and proud, we can say that. For us, it's a yes. It's it's a project that uh, we started also uh, months ago. Uh, it's it's an it's another level compared to the Youth Olympic Games. Uh, it's the Olympic Games. I mean the the, the big ones and uh, and the first one. So we could see some um, some similarities. 
uh, we work with the with the committee and uh, the local committee in Tokyo and IFSC. Uh, the, the the structure will be much more uh, important in size, um, and and we design also the the wall differently uh, to have some kind of a continuity between the the speed wall, the lead wall, and the and the boulder. So the the design is is really really uh, unique. We had test events in uh, back in March 2020, so we have to be ready uh, at the end of February. So we, for, for us, it's, a, it's an even longer process, which added a little bit of uh, pressure, but uh, it was good also to have this test event to, to make sure everything was fine. That would be great, yes. <laughs>